morning, and thank you for joining our Daily Outlook. And today, we'll cover the changes in the dollar-yen pair. Greg will be sharing insights from our trading desk. The dollar rose 0.4% against the yen in the last trading session. According to the stochastic RSI, we are in an overbought market. The pound fell 0.4% against the dollar in the last trading session. The stochastic indicator is giving a negative signal. The Bitcoin dollar pair dove 4.2% in the last session. The Williams indicator is giving a negative signal. The gold dropped 0.3% against the dollar in the last session. The ultimate oscillator is giving a positive signal. Moving on to world financial news. Australia's financial regulator reportedly raised concerns over FTX's Australian subsidiary eight months before the exchange collapsed. Australian Securities and Investments Commission was concerned about the way that FTX Australia was operating after obtaining a license in the country through a company takeover. Saudi Arabia, the world's largest oil exporter, may trim prices for crude grades sold to Asia for a fourth straight month in March amid low physical oil premiums as oversupply worries linger despite expectations of demand recovery in China. Japanese makers of semiconductor manufacturing machinery and materials used to make chips said that they had yet to hear from Japan's government about export restrictions that could directly or indirectly affect their business in China. Thank you. Coming up, our chief analyst review of today's most interesting economic events. Germany's retail sales will be released at 0700 hours GMT. Japan's construction orders at 0500 hours GMT the French gross domestic product at 0630 GMT. Australia's AIG Performance of Manufacturing Index will be released at 2130 GMT. The US Chicago Purchases Managers Index at 1445 GMT. Australia's retail sales at 0 hundred hours and 30 minutes GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day.